The other day, Asmongold did an interview with World of Warcraft's game director Ian Hazakostas, and it being in the wake of the retail expansion announcement, I was very much expecting a full-on Dragonflight-centered show. But there was a question at the end for us classic Andes regarding what happens at the end of Wrath. By the way, thanks to Asmund for actually asking this question. I swear as soon as TBC was announced, people were already asking about confirmation for Wrath, which back then they said, sure, if the community wants it. Anyways, who better to get an answer from than the game director himself? I'll include the full interview below if you want to check it out, but I'm just going to, in brief, go over what Ian said. So, when asked what happens at the end of Wrath, he says... What do you want to come next? Do you want to start over? Do the whole thing as a fresh? Do you want a different version of what you've just done? This is what Seasonal Mastery has hoped to achieve with Classic. We can talk more about that later. Do you want to carry your character forwards into another adventure? This would be progressive from Wrath to Kata. Speaking further on Cataclysm, Ian very much echoed what I feel is the familiar feedback about the expansion, saying for many Kata was the beginning of the end. But why was that? Was it the zones? Was it the dungeons? raids, the world revamp, what didn't you like? He gives examples such as LFR or LFD existing, compressing the talent trees down from Wrath, making there be so much less choice, as well as removing group-based content from the open world with the revamp. Interesting stuff, let's break it down, talk about collecting feedback, as well as the precedent set by Classic Error and Season of Mastery's success, or lack thereof. I want to start off by saying Blizzard must be super confused right now by the current state of feedback on Classic. I would be if I were them. Back during the announcement stream, the first thing, the very first thing they mention after confirming Wrath is happening is that they are removing the LFD because they feel it no longer fits within the game for the classic timeline. Out of everything they could have said, this was considered the most important thing to get across to players. This was the easy win of the presentation. They full on expected the classic players to rejoice and shower them with praise for removing a feature, which has been drilled into their minds that it solely degraded the game for over a decade. And what do you know? The players do the exact opposite. What the hell, Blizz? Give me my LFD back. This was the feature I was most looking forward to in the expansion. Wrath isn't Wrath without the LFD, and so on and so forth. Pretty much every space where there is feedback online, more people are asking for it than against it. Now, unhappy people are more vocal, that's true, but we wouldn't be having this discussion at all if it was clearly such a bad decision one way or the other. I did a poll on my channel about a week ago. 28,000 votes, thanks if you voted. 62% yes, 38% no. During the interview when Ian talks about the negatives of Kata, he lumps LFD in with LFR, and now people are asking for the LFD back, and Blizzard is probably thinking, oh, so the looking for content isn't as bad as people have made it out to be then. So when Ian asks, what do the players want? Gee, that's a bit of a tough one. It's really not as easy to evaluate as you might think. As for what's most popular going forwards, I'll be honest, progressive with changes seems, at this point in time, the most likely route. A little bit ago, I did a video on why Classic is not going to stop with Wrath. It might for you, but many people have enjoyed certain bits of content throughout World of Warcraft's long existence. The Firelands, Throne of Thunder, Blackrock Foundry, the ability to revisit a game for whichever patch you enjoyed the most, without having to wait a solid year at the end of the expansion for something new to come along. It's clearly got its benefits. Blizzard's current foray into legacy servers following Classic progressing to the latest expansion, however, have been, well, a bit of a disaster. It's a super niche community thing. Classic Era has a handful of raids still living out the Warrior Stack dream. There was even a Reddit post to commemorate the first ever Alteric Valley popping on Era Realms, with a predictable number of warriors shown in the screenshot. It's simply just not very popular, and when things aren't very popular, eventually they go away. And the Burning Crusade isn't getting an Era Realm at all. All characters in Classic at the moment will go forwards to Wrath. As for Season of Mastery, it's more active than Era, that's for sure, doesn't take much, but again, it's a very small community. Season of Mastery had so much hype at its launch, with Blizzard making a whole host of very widely asked for changes. Mage boosting? Gone. Well buffs? Gone. Harder raid content? Check. Easier to farm and level since a faster release cadence? Check. 
Many of these things were asked for tirelessly during Classic. Seasonal Mastery brought in all of these community demands, and its total raiding population is about one fifth of the largest TBC server. It's just not very popular, and again, if I were Blizzard, I'd be super confused about how to handle feedback. If you ever wonder why it seems they do things or say things which are out of touch, it's because the player base is really split on a lot of topics. So could they do a better job of collecting feedback? Well, of course, yes, I feel they could. Recently, Brian in Birmingham, the lead on Classic has been doing a great job of communicating following the announcement. You may not like everything he has to say, but I'll take that over silence any day. And I want to say you can't expect somebody so actively working on the game to always be there on Twitter, but then I remembered this guy exists. Hmm, so what about that? Old school RuneScape, they do feedback differently than Classic, don't they? In Classic, if we're asked about something, it's usually on a survey, which is good. In fact, more of them, please. I feel they would have put LFD on a survey if they knew the community would be so split, but hey, here we are. Old school RuneScape has polls instead, and theirs are very different, with a certain voter threshold needed for the content to actually be released in the game, as well as transparency on what the results are. Old school RuneScape was built on the polling system, System for updates and the game has become what the majority of the players want it to become and classic wow may go in that same direction oh and by the way what the majority wants in old school runescape is to hand pick updates from the other game runescape 3 which are good and then reskin them and remodel them to fit a more retro game style anyways would this more transparent voting system work for wow eh, it would probably just deflect anger from blizzard to the other players see in old school runescape over the years the polling system has started to show problems sometimes Jagex just add stuff in the game saying it's the quality of life without polling it. Sometimes they develop content for ages, they created an entire new skill, warding, and then players voted no. They've wasted so much time, money and effort for absolutely nothing. Sometimes they poll the same thing five times in a row, it fails every single time and they just say, you know what, we're putting it in the game anyway because we want to. And more recently, they're trying to bring huge updates to PvP in the wilderness and they've had to restrict votes to only active PvPers because the PvE players player base, aka the vast majority, keep voting no on everything PvP related purely out of spite so they never get any new content, only for it to still fail anyways, you can't make this up. So yeah, feedback is pretty tough even when you do leave it in the player's hands. I don't mind the way Blizzard does surveys to be honest, I just wish there were more of them and that they're sent out to much more of the active classic player base. I've played the game since day one and I've never received one, I imagine it's the same for a lot of you guys. I'd love to throw in a vote on things which would shape the future of the game. In fact, a while back, Blizzard did mention they were considering adding an in-game NPC that asks players questions that they can respond to in order to try and get a feel for what they want. They even say in the post, the team really likes the idea. Me too, I love the idea. I bet this would have way better response rate than the email surveys as well. So many people never even look at their Battle.net email. But if it was something physical in-game that you could go to, that just sounds really good to me. The only difference is it would be for the active players player base rather than Blizzard trying to fish for what may make somebody return to the game, which they have done in the email surveys. So let's wrap it up then and touch on the points Ian mentioned as the negatives about Cataclysm. I think it's pretty much the majority take. LFR bad, talent change is bad, world revamp bad. I say this now but back at the start of Classic you would have been downvoted like crazy for saying something positive about the LFD. Will people really want LFR by the end of Wrath? It feels about as much of a no brainer to say no to it as LFD did two years ago and here we are. Anyways, interesting points from Ian, I'd love to see more polls be it in game or out. Personally, I am a fan of Cataclysm, I always have been and I know I would like to see it again. I particularly like the raiding content, apart from Dragon Soul, I did not like LFR. I'm kind of neutral on the talents, if they kept the talent trees larger it would certainly open up a lot of theory crafting which could be fun. I think time will tell that Wrath the Lich King will be more successful than TBC. If we look to private servers, Wrath has been a contender for the most popular iteration of WoW ever for a very long time now, so hopefully Wrath does leave something behind when it's over in addition to us getting something new. Nevertheless, the future is there for Classic. We just need to talk about it and hopefully our voices are heard. Oh, and one last thing about feedback, the whole they won't do anything that needs effort and so on. I'm going to read it in the comments here. I read it on every single post or video about a topic like this. And you're not wrong, but it's literally useless typing that. It's just fishing for upvotes online. Just post what you would like and don't get your hopes up too much. That'll be a lot better. Anyways, guys, that's about everything from me today. As always, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. And I shall see you on the next one very soon.